here we are, guys. The video I never wanted to make. Not much good to say. I don't, never wanted to put a video out like this. Th these are bad times right now. Oh, it, the, 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 the team is one in five. Uh, not much future. We got nothing to hang our hats on. You know, since our last Super Bowl run, we've had what, two winning seasons. You know, you can say what you want about injuries. I mean, the Ravens have been dealt with injuries, and they're winning football games. We're not winning football games. We can't run the ball, can't throw the ball, can't hardly catch the ball, can't tackle. And here we are, one in five, and now Judge said he's going to look at film and see who's trying and who's not. This fan base has been telling them for six weeks now who's trying and who's not. How come How come us as fans, we can see it, but the coaching staff can't see it? What, what, you know, what, what's going on behind the scenes? What's going on in the locker room? What's going on in the practice field? Something's not right. How, how did this, yeah, yeah. We've been going through players we've been going through why the injuries have happened we with the turf issue and everything and we've been going through the coaching staff and and now fans are just so frustrated now that everybody just wants to blow it up you know we're, we're calling for jobs it's it's just not a good look for the Giants organization or the Giants fan base right now, the way everything's going. I, I try to stay positive, but even that's, a, that's difficult for me right now, too. I mean, all we can do is root for our team. That, that, that's all we have. You know, we get to associate with each other and be there for each other. And, you know, it's it's depressing. I, I I don't know what else to say. There is no quick fix to this team. There's there's no well next year. It, it it's been next year for the last five years, and everyone else like me, we're tired of next year. We're tired of looking at the draft right now. We're we want to win football games. We want our stars out on the field. We want to buy jerseys. We want, you know, people want to go to games. People want to cheer for these guys. And these players understand that, but I don't know. I, I'm at a loss for words. I, I have no idea where this team's going to go. I mean, there's a saying that it can't get worse than this. Uh, yeah, I guess it can. I mean, we didn't think last year would would be worse, and somehow we squeaked out six games, and we all caught a lot of hope and hype, and we 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 believed in what we saw the second half of last year. The team came together, won a couple of games. Um. And we all bought into the, the BS that was going on. And I guess we all seeing through the BS right now. You know, we got the coach saying we're going to get things fixed. We're going to get it better. How are you going to get it better? We don't have an offensive line. All our star players are out. Daniel Jones is getting killed. You know, if Barkley comes back, yeah. How the hell is he going to run behind this offensive line? He's going to get crushed again, get injured. You know, and so if we start trading away players that everyone wants, you know, we're, we're going to have backups for backups out on the field. I get it. Everyone wants, you know, the draft picks and everything. But, I mean, 
There's still, what, 11 games to go? Uh, oh, we got another couple of tough games. We got a primetime game coming up. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know. I, I almost want them to not even reschedule it. I'm sure I'm not alone with that either. I mean, if we were a winning football club, primetime games are great. But when you're at the bottom of the barrel, the laughing stock, you, you, I love my Giants. I'm here every week. I'm on other people's streams every week. I can't help but love this team. But I've been sitting here for the last week thinking, you know, what what can we do to improve? What can we do to change? What can we do to, to win a football game? We get blown out the last two weeks. You know, and, and people want something to blame. There's really nothing to blame. It's everything. I don't know, folks. I just... I, I wanted to say something. I wanted to come out with a great video, and I just, I'm at a loss for words, just like everybody else is. But if this can't last forever, one day we're going to be good again. One day. It, it might take a couple of years, because I just, I don't see any way to get rapid improvement out of this even with a good draft next year we had two okay drafts i mean tony's looking like he sh he what, what he should be a first round draft pick he's going to be a really good weapon to this team you guys are just going to have to you know figure out how to stay healthy that's a hard thing to do right now the nfl i mean guys are getting hurt every week Teams are losing players. We're seeing really bad injuries on the field lately. And I, <laughs> I don't wish for anybody to get injured. I want everybody to go home to their families. But I guess we just got to keep a stiff upper lip. Keep rooting for the Giants. Wait for that one day to where it all changes. We can start winning some football games, being com more competitive in football games. And pray for a brighter future. Uh, that, that's all we got right now. I'm sorry if this video is not up to snuff, guys. Like I said, I, I, I'm trying to come out with stuff, and I've been thinking for the last week, and I just... Nothing I can nothing I can really say. But if you stuck around this long for the video, again, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the bell, get notifications when I launch my next video. And uh, hopefully we'll see you all over on Big Pat's Sports Talk. Where me and him will be calling the game Sunday at 1 o'clock against the Carolina Panthers. And I guess I'd go Giants. I'd, <laughs> Have a great day, people.